It's a career Republic side that sees two changes to the one that played last time out when they drew with victory for them at the weekend. Saw them 2-0 victors over the UAE, courtesy of Park Nam Chul and Mun Inguk. Just a solitary change from that happened. And he actually saw Japan beat North Korea, which was why he wanted to play for them. And that could have been a stunning start for the North Koreans. It's the skipper Hong Yong Jo from 25 yards. Well, the man who plays in Russia for FC Rostov picked this ball up, got it out of his feet and drilled one and it was going in the top corner. That's a magnificent save from Lee Wun Jae. A full stretch there, that's just to keep possession. Liam Poe with the ball whipped in, it's a good ball as well. The header back across goal. That was a fantastic defensive challenge. Panji Sung looked as though all he had to do was poke it home. North Korea did extremely well there. Here's the ball in from Lee Yong-po to the far post. The little knockback from Park Chu Yong. Here he is again, right on the edge of the box, looking to try and tee himself up. Alex to pull it wide to Lee Yong-po, who shoots. And that one's gone wide. But that's uncharacteristic of Lee Yong-po hitting it with his right foot. Well, it looked as though it was a hashed effort, but it nearly troubled the keeper that was looking to make inroads there. Here's North Korea, great ball, whipped in, free header! Did that go over the line? That looked as though it went over the line, but Lee Woon Jae, if he's managed to keep that out, that is an unbelievable save. So right at the start of the first half and right at the start of the second half, the veteran keeper comes up with two amazing saves. Didn't I say it was with a header and showing how big and physically strong he is. Look at his upper body strength there. There's the header. And that ball looks as though it's over the line. That is very, very close. We may get a better angle here. Controversy at the start of the second half then. Inside. Young, just over the top, fizzed in with great pace, but he went just over. Just catching the roof of the net. Just couldn't make it dip enough. It's a good effort though. Shins ahead of him. They are now though. Money got one of them. Looks to get the ball in. It's a great ball in. Far post volley just goes wide. That could be the golden opportunity that North Korea were waiting for. But unfortunately, Pak Nam Cho fired it into the side netting. A chance, it has to be said. Oh, trying to thread it through the eye of a needle, but it's broke to the edge of the box, and that should have been a goal from Lee Kun Ho. It overrun the initial one. Didn't really expect that ball to come to him. Part too young it was with the shot. Just gets on the end of it here and scuffs it straight into the path of Lee Kun Ho. What a chance. The relative safety of North Korea, but they just give the ball away yet again. Park Sung dropping a little bit deeper now. It's a lovely little reverse pass. The strike is straight at Rimon Gook. And Lee Kun Ho, that's the second opportunity that he's had in the space of two minutes. Here's the little ball from Park Sung. And a lovely little reverse pass there, again from Park Ji Young. Well, the two strikers combining well yet again, but unfortunately they can't find that finishing touch. Rim Yong Guk having no problems whatsoever with that because it was right at him. You see the desperation in the challenges flying in there as well. Four minutes and counting is all that North Korea have to do to hang on. needs to 
to be there because the clock is ticking. Lots of red shirts in there and it's got the faintest of touches and it's gone in. Did it receive a touch? Everybody's diving and jumping on Kim Chi Woo. And that could be a crucial and critical goal. Well, it's gone straight in. That's what happens when you get runners running across the goalkeeper. They worry more about the players because they can't focus on the ball. And Reem nong who's had literally no proper saves to make, nothing has been problematic for him just couldn't see that at the end there's that ball whipped in there was some sort of faint touch on the way in which may have just taken it away from him but take nothing oh there it is it was as well Hong Yong Jo did it hit Hong Yong Jo's arm yep it just clipped his hand which took it away from me on good defensive block means that it's a corner with four and a half minutes gone, that's got to be close to the end of the game. There is the final whistle. So for the first time in five games, we do have a winner between South Korea and North Korea. And that goes courtesy of the goal that was scored in the 88th minute by Kim Chi Woo. North Korea will look back about, did that ball cross the line? But in this Group B encounter, Asian World Cup qualifiers, South Korea go to the top of Group B with a 1-0 victory.